as you can see on the table there is no box on the table for the for the unboxing it is because the car the, the box are on the floor Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is uh, Harrison from YRC. Okay, uh, as you can see here, we are at a different uh, setup. Okay, uh, this is my different room from the previous room that I normally shoot. Uh, it is because I'm officially evicted from that room because that room has been taken up by my son for his uh, own room. So now, uh, from now on, you're gonna see I'm shooting video from uh, this room. Okay, uh, actually this room is my uh, computer and uh, mining room. So, so here I do most of the the hard work. I mean the the hardware work. Uh, my, you can see my tools are here. Okay, uh, everything is here. Uh, the previous uh, the RC are here. Okay. Uh, actually, in this video, I'm gonna unbox my very first uh, fifth scale RC car. Okay, but uh, as you can see, there is uh, no box on the table. It is because the box are too big and I cannot fit it on the table. So the box are on the floor. So we're gonna switch the camera to the floor. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's start with the unboxing with my first and normal. Uh, Hi. I'm really excited to unbox this car. If you guys can know, you can see that. So this box uh, coming from uh, Rofan Racing. Uh, actually, this car is a uh, Rovan uh, RC uh, Racing, but they uh, rename the Rovan to Rofan, maybe due to for the maybe due to marketing. There is nothing special on the on the box. Just a normal uh, normal. Uh, Cargo box. Here, so it's not really. Yeah, not really a uh, uh, any design or any details on the box. Just a flat box. This is the ice seal. Is it guys? This is the uh, Roman Baja. This is a 29cc uh, Roman Baja. I'm gonna I'm gonna unbox this for the box. After that, I'm gonna put it on the table so we can see more details on the car. Okay. These are the box. These are the mixing uh, mixing tank, mixing uh, bottle. Here are the spoil. 
together, come with the pin, stickers. Here will be your uh, tools, okay? Manuals. We're gonna go details on this later. Baha uh, manual uh, that is what I, I come across in the, every YouTube channel that I, uh, every YouTube video that I watch okay actually I want to shout out to Motagia uh, channel I watch a lot of uh, his video regarding this uh, petrol petrol car video so uh, I learn a lot from him watching him before I'm buying this car so as uh, as for this video these are exactly the same as you will find in uh, HPI Baha okay unfortunately uh, HPI Baha uh, nowhere nowhere to find in uh, our local market in Malaysia specifically uh, and uh, if I'm not mistaken HPI are more expensive than uh, this uh, Robert I'm gonna talk about the price uh, later on after we inspect the car okay here you're gonna have your you are not mistaken this is the battery charger okay H, uh, this robot baha actually uh, you're gonna use 6.6 uh, uh, volt uh, nickel, uh, nickel metal hydride battery for the receiver but uh, the version the package that I buy 
is uh, coming without the battery. So the battery, I'm gonna source it for myself, or maybe I'm gonna use a lipo battery. I'm gonna show you later on how I'm gonna install my lipo battery. Okay, this is the charger for the battery. If you buy the one that uh, included with the battery, so unfortunately in my case, I don't have the battery, so uh, so I'm gonna use a different type of battery. Okay, so the receiver gonna have to use the 6.6 volt if I'm not mistaken for 6 volt so we're not gonna use this so we're gonna put this one aside okay. the last one stick you will be provided with a wrench Various of range. This, if I'm not mistaken, is the wheel range. Okay, to open up the range, and there's a bunch of other uh, socket that you can use. This is the spark plug. This is the Philip. Here's the LNT provided. Small range, metal range, all metal. Type of range, multi range. Okay. So Okay, these are the controller that come with the car. Uh, I, I I did not see any negative uh, review on this. Normally it works fine. Okay, but uh, if this car gonna give me a trouble, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace it with my own choice of uh, controller. Actually, I've been looking for the left-handed uh, controller. But since now I cannot find any that uh, suitable for me. I found that one is the Noble, uh, price high kind Noble, of but the price are so ridiculous. So I'm not gonna buy that yet for time being. If I'm desperate, desperate, if I'm desperate, maybe I'll go with, go with the Noble, the uh, price high Noble. Okay, move to one side. Okay, now let's go to the main part. Okay. okay guys, this are the Kaiser. This is the Baha Iser, Roman Baha. The tire are big. This is a bit lock uh, bit lock uh, tire a wheel rear rim. This is uh, not metal, this is a uh, plastic. Okay. The front are the same. This is a uh, plastic, not metal. Okay. Even the upper arm, the lower arm of the suspension uh, from the wheel suspension, as well the suspension itself, the the locking top, uh, the locking head, uh, metal, but the cap is a uh, plastic. This is plastic. Okay, it's a uh, plastic uh, cap for the sober. This is metal. The shock itself is a uh, metal. Okay, you you will have the very nice uh, cover for the cylinder. It's really good to protect the cylinder from coming with the dirt or sand. And gonna wrap the seal inside the inside the cylinder, shock cylinder. Okay, this is the this is also a plastic. This is also plastic. Steering in catch, it is, it is adjustable, but the, the end rod, the end linkage also, also plastic. Okay, the wheel, the wheel cup. I mean, this is the axles. Are plastic. See how plastic. I see the turning circle are very good. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna move further. Okay, the, bo the body itself is a Lexan. Okay, we're gonna open that one later. Okay, this is the, uh, the roll catch. The roll catch are plastic too. If I'm not mistaken, this is the this one is the <coughs> nylon. Okay, the shock <coughs> tower itself is plastic. This one gonna be 
I'm gonna be replacing this uh, shock tower I think this shock tower are not really strong enough okay maybe I'll just buy the metal brace for this just to support it uh, for time being okay the front one is the plastic but the rear one are uh, metal this is metal uh, shock tower this one is really good really nice uh, supplement okay in the back also the shock are the same <coughs> The shock are the same as in front. Okay, the linkage are all of plastic, nylon. The drive shaft are metal. There's a cover for the bearing, it's very nice. The engine itself, this is a 20, uh, 29cc uh, engine, two strong engine. Okay, the exhaust pipe itself, very nice. If you are not mistaken, if you buy if you buy the HPI version, you get the the Kaiser will come with the normal exhaust like your bush cutter. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to turn this car around. Okay, on this side. Okay, this is your fuel. Put your fuel from here. Okay, this is your full starter. I'm gonna shoot a video for the engine braking on, uh, braking in later on. Okay, the diff here, the gearbox, the transmission here, the cover itself is a uh, plastic. Okay, the, the diff behind here. Uh, also a plastic or maybe a nylon you will get your very nice uh, uh, catch for the exhaust so you're not gonna wrap it not gonna damage the exhaust okay the top cover and this is this is a uh, metal you gotta get your spotlight but there's no LED here if I don't mistaken this is a LED ready so you can put your LED here okay you're gonna flip it upside down okay. here the chassis itself is a metal this part are metal are all metal but this part Bit. Okay. This part are metal. Okay. It's very thick metal. Uh, it looks like uh, five mm, five mm metal. Right. But at the back here, this is a uh, plastic. Uh, maybe maybe a uh, nylon in front also the same okay you can see the down there and the carriage here okay I'm gonna flip it back okay guys I'm gonna open the I'm gonna remove this uh, body so we can access the electronic under here okay before I forget there's there's a uh, this there's your carburetor you have your high and low tuning this is the idler yeah, this is your stop button see 20 29cc okay this will be your uh, priming pump for the fuel okay let's open the the cover itself the cover are skew with the pin you can see here also pin and remove it gonna have to remove uh, four of the pin and five of the pin I'll put it here two 
body itself are very soft so you won't uh, worry to break it in okay okay yeah guys here is your uh, this is your will be battery and uh, battery and receiver box okay this is your sub for the throttle for the engine throttle here under here will be your steering uh, servo okay I'm gonna open this uh, battery cover and uh, and uh, the receiver okay in order to do that you're gonna have to remove the, the front side of the roll catch you have to remove two pin to remove it I have the I have removed the, the roll catch like this so that I can access the the battery box. Okay, we're gonna open that one. Gonna remove this gonna first. The, the the battery box itself is uh, secure with one uh, pin. This is a smaller pin. It is not the same with the body pin. I have uh, removed the back of this one so that I can uh, slide the roll catch. Okay, here your yeah. And I'm trying to remove this uh, cover completely. Okay, I'm going to try to remove it first. Okay, guys, this is how your your battery box and receiver gonna looks like. You're gonna have to power up your receiver using this connector, this servo connector. Okay, I'm planning to power up my receiver using uh, this uh, uh, battery for the lipo plug <coughs> I made this myself so that I can fire it up using my uh, buggy battery okay okay guys we're gonna spec further on this so you guys can see closer this is how you gonna have to run this actually I saw a video Okay, you gonna have to buy the, the nickel nickel metal hydride battery for this car that uh, you can put it here. That that is the if I'm not mistaken the battery uh, around uh, six volt, one thousand five hundred uh, milliamp. If I'm not mistaken, I'll put, I will put uh, the batteries on the screen. But for those who are not gonna use the battery and I'll give you uh, the dimension for this uh, battery box so you can find a proper battery for your car. So guys, I'm gonna measure this. How long is this uh, battery box? What are the space? Okay. Okay. The battery box itself, the length uh, approximate uh, 10 cm. 10 cm, okay. That is the length. So the width of it. The width is uh, around 70, around 73 mm. Okay. So the width of the box. 73 uh, mm so the depth of the box itself from here on this top part is uh, so the depth of the box is around 2 cm okay but 
the depth to the this bottle are much more deeper. Okay, the depth itself is around 53 cm uh, mm, 53 mm. So that is the dimension of this uh, battery and uh, receiver box. So I hope that uh, dimension gonna help you to to choose a proper battery for this car. But for my case, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to power on my car using this battery this is a 1500 milliamp battery this is 2s 2s lipo battery 7.4 volt okay actually this battery i features in the video previous video that how long that you can play your trx4 using the video please uh, watch the video if you haven't already it's a good <laughs> information video if you want to see it okay so this this battery can fit this box perfectly without any problem okay if i not mistaken i can run two battery in this box in parallel so i have a longer play time i am not sure whether it is advisable or not is it is it good or not but i'm gonna try it so you guys don't need to try it okay in order to power up i have a splitter splitter for the battery so that uh, i can run parallel to the battery but now for the testing i'm gonna test it just using one battery okay guys now i'm gonna test the electronic of this car can you use this battery here right there it's nice and fit okay for time being i'm gonna play uh, using this battery but uh, i'm gonna warn you guys uh, in advance that this electronic system does not have any low voltage uh, detection for the lipo battery so you're gonna have to buy the aftermarket uh, power switch from sky rc i'm gonna put it on the screen that uh, i'm i already purchased that uh, power uh, power switch uh, that power switch features a low voltage cutout for this uh, battery so you're not gonna match this battery for, for time being i'm gonna play it and uh, watch my time playing it so i will not drain this battery too low okay now i'm gonna switch it on Connect it, switch it on, and test the electronic. Careful when you connect the battery because you're gonna need to see the polar the polarity. Plug it in. I'm gonna switch the radio first, but I'm gonna fill up the battery. So this radio I'm using a normal normal double A battery. turn on now we're gonna switch this uh, here okay on I'm gonna test the steering first oh, the steering is working fine how about a throttle okay so throttle, throttle okay the brake okay I forget to mention that this car have a braking system that is the brake system if you push your uh, throttle up it's gonna break the car gonna break the engine okay maybe i'm gonna need to adjust the braking okay so everything is working fine i'm not uh, i cannot wait to to do the 
the engine braking braking in it okay switch off off By the way guys, this box, this box is not waterproof, so I'm not, uh, I'm not encourage you guys to run into the water with this. This is not really a waterproof uh, box. Okay, please take, take, uh, bear in mind that. Okay, I'm gonna leave the battery here, so tomorrow I can play it. I'm gonna start, can start it. Okay. So that is the battery part. I hope that clear. So you guys know what you gonna face or what what you gonna have to prepare before you buy this car. Okay, I'm gonna leave the battery there. As I mentioned earlier, guys, this battery box are not uh, waterproof. I not encourage or not, re not recommend you to play this one on water okay that's it for the electric box so what what thing that you need to be mindful of this uh, electronic that uh, if you are planning to use uh, light bulb battery you don't you don't have the low cutoff uh, low cutoff uh, battery, low cutoff system. So you're gonna need to buy your own uh, your own uh, power cutoff system, which I'm gonna put it on the screen. Okay, I did buy that one already. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shoot the video when I install that. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this one back all together. After that, I'm gonna do the close out video. So, guys, uh, I have already installed all the parts, the spoiler already in. So, the battery I will be in. So tomorrow, I'm gonna do the engine break, breaking in. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the video too. Uh, I'm pause it. Okay, before I end the video, I'm gonna tell you the why that I choose a petrol engine rather than a retro engine. It's because in my opinion that the retro engine are more are much more expensive to run uh, to compare with the petrol okay you can use the uh, just put uh, the TT motor here uh, the TT, TT engine oil here but for this case I'm gonna use the M oil the racing uh, uh, racing spec for the TT oil engine oil so because as per uh, Motagel uh, YouTube channel advice that this treat this as, as uh, your dirt bike uh, racing uh, engine so don't use uh, a cheap uh, QT engine okay this is not your push cutter or a more engine okay uh, other than that uh, I just uh, cannot accept that a small uh, small body so that's why I end up uh, getting this car okay as for the price actually this is uh, 1500 uh, 1500 ringgit uh, uh, as, uh, Robin Baha okay I bought this uh, from Shopee the same seller that I get the Toyota LC70 body kit okay uh, I really really have a zero experience zero knowledge on the petrol engine I know what I got into myself in <laughs> But uh, nevertheless, I try. I will learn from here how to run this car, how to play this car, how to maintain the car. I think uh, as for the engine side of the car, the 2T engine, my brother, I think, uh, more capable than me to fix this engine. Uh, he is uh, more to 2T uh, two engine expert. As for the electronic, I don't think I have any problem with the electronic. So I think, in my opinion, my uh, I don't have any problem with the car. 
say I really have a, a, every help that I can get to fix the car if the, the car is broken. Okay. Uh, this is a this is like a normal buggy, like the Milton buggy. Except that this is a, just a big scale car. Okay. The electronic are the same. Okay. Except the engine. The engine there's a lot ha happening on the engine. There's a carburetor. Uh, there is an engine itself. There's a full start. There's a fuel tank, there's a clutch itself, there's a brake, so the engines are uh, much more uh, uh, things going in there. No? So, so the reason that I'm not getting into nitro engine itself is because, you know, opinion that nitro engine are much more expensive to run. Uh, I see, in my opinion, I see that the nitro engine are more complicated. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm comfortable with the two throw engine rather than the nitro engine. I don't know. Uh, and uh, and the size itself that uh, uh, that deter me from uh, getting the nitro engine. I think the nitro engine the biggest is the uh, one at scale, if I don't mistake. But this is a uh, one a uh, one five scale. So at the end, I get this uh, this uh, Baha. I cannot wait to run it to play it. To break the engine in tomorrow, I really look forward to it. Okay. Actually, I have a lineup of upgrade to this car already in uh, in line. Uh, first thing that I'm gonna upgrade is I'm gonna, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna install the digital uh, power switch that have the low voltage cutout for the lipo engine. Okay, that is the first upgrade. The second upgrade will be the engine uh, kill kill switch remote uh, kill kill switch uh, that uh, if I'm not mistaken that will gonna uh, uh, stop the engine if your receiver transmitter are not in control so uh, if the engine are far away or you lost of the control of the car the engine will cut it off in zero and zero okay but that one will gonna uh, test later on okay that is the second upgrade in my mind. Okay, the third upgrade that I plan is the shock tower. I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna replace this. I'm gonna maybe gonna buy the the support brake for the forward one. I think at the back I'm gonna leave it like this for time being, as it already metal. I don't think we're gonna need to upgrade it. Okay, this, uh, and. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna upgrade the remote too. I have uh, found the remote that uh, that uh, that's suitable for me. It is a left side uh, left side controller. So left side uh, remote, uh, I'm gonna use that. Let's get this one. Okay. Other than that, I think I don't have any other uh, point to point out here. I hope you guys enjoy the video. You guys uh, get the information that you guys wanted before you buy this car for yourself I'm gonna link uh, this uh, car in the link description below if you plan to buy it for yourself uh, please if you plan to buy it please buy from the link that I, I put in the description below because uh, any purchase from the link I get a few feedback from the, the purchase so you're gonna help me in the channel so okay okay other than that uh, if you enjoy the video, please uh, do like, uh, subscribe to support. Uh, stay tuned for the breaking in and uh, play, play video. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching.